Season 2 of Homegrown Hotspur is upon us. Community Shield against the one and only Arsenal at our home ground for a season of Wembley. Are you ready? Dum, dum. Mm. I guess I should tell you what to wear. Yeah, I do think I'm better. I'll bow down to the Masters. Break it down, Bandy. Uh, that's very David Brent. Sorry. Intro, go. As I'm keen to get this show on the road right from the very start. Hello, by the way, welcome back to Homegrown Hotspur. I know it's been a while, but we are back and ready to roll. I had needed to get through transfer windows and I needed a break from the game, but we are in earnest starting off once again for season two, 2017, 2018. Let's start off with a bang. So, well, that, well not that kind of bang. I thought we got over it. We've had a chat before about it. Apparently, we haven't been able to leave the rude jokes at home, have we? No, filth. We shall stop tour. <laughs> through all of these transfers then there's a lot of freeze we've let pretty much all of the dross of the use use useless players out see so save that one well done Matthew Kevin Vimmer he's joined Atletico Madrid he was on loan there last season he's now moved on a permanent deal Bentaleb he has moved to Schalke not Gelsenkirchen thanks SI for those beautiful Beautiful, beautiful licensing agreements that you have in place. Moussa Dembele has also moved. He's moved to Monaco. He was there last season on loan as well. And he's again joined on a permanent deal. Look at that wage we've got off the bill. I, I don't know why we're talking about bill. Everything's on him apparently. Lots of it. Harry Vinks has moved on loan to Sheffield Wednesday. He was on loan at Charlton last season, I believe. Son Hyun Ming is a big one. Moved for £20 million to Sporting. Another big wage to get off the wage budget. He was at United on loan last season. Didn't really score many goals. Made sense at the time, really. And he's not remotely English, Scottish, Welsh. You know the rules. If you don't know the rules by now, where have you bloody well been? Go watch. Episode 1, right this bloody second, and you'll understand what we're doing. Victor Van Yama recently has left to join Inter Milan. A cut price deal once again. No one wants to sign these players because they were on ridiculous wages. Because if you were ordinary playing this game without some self-imposed rules, you, you'd want to have this kind of player in your team. Obviously, I'm stupid and decided that I'm going to... Why am I doing this? Why am I doing it? Joe Masker and Charlie Owens, another two free transfers. Clinton Unji, another loan. Hope his contract runs out at the end of... A co well, in a couple of seasons' time. I, I'm trying to get rid of him. Really struggling, though. Michel Vorm has moved to Lyon. No, Olympic Marseille. It's Olympic. It throws me, okay? Like, like a like a javelin or a, or a discus or any other things you throw in Olympic events god that's bloody tenuous I need a ten, ten, attenuation thing and where is it I lost my kazoo god da, damn it Joe Lolly the mistake of the century well at least the state mistake of the season last year uh, he's left to move to Cardiff on a permanent transfer for a million pounds Thomas Glover has moved to Leeds on loan He's Australian, apparently, still. Jason Cummings has come in and gone again. I try, I try, and you're not making it very easy. He uh, he joined us from Hibernian, and he's moved out on loan to Brighton straight away. I thought he might get a start, but uh, I changed my mind. And another one who has come in and then left again is Greg Kilty. Finally got his name right. Keep on forgetting how I actually pronounce it or just completely making up random surnames for him. But alas, uh, he joined from Kilmarnock. I thought he was a bit better than he actually is. He's, he's actually quite slow for someone who is a winger. Yeah. 
So he he's at Ipswich now. I'm sure they'll have something to moan about because they always bloody do. Now, you've seen two of the inbound transfers. You can see them right here. I don't know why I'm shrouding it in mystery. Cameron Carter-Vickers has finally rejoined the club. Got him back. It's cost us an arm and a leg, or at least a leg of an arm. £2.3 million pounds plus, I think, 30% sell-on. Not a great deal. We've been just massively done. But we've equally done Everton with a £30 million pound transfer of Ross Barkley. I went in for him last season. Thirty million pounds Everton wanted. Now then, they did jab back. Then they got relegated, and uh, they weren't too fussed about selling him for a lot less money than he's actually worth. So we've done all right there. If he reaches his potential, we've got two, in fact three: Will Hughes, Deli Alley, and uh, Ross Barkley. That's that's a pretty Englishified. That's that's a, a phrase I'm now choosing to use. Uh, midfield. I think all three of which are now full England internationals. One of which was down to me. The other two were already there, so I can't really take any credit. Anyway, that's the transfers. That's the important stuff out of the way. We have brought in another member of staff. We have got a new uh, assistant manager because Terry McDermott retired. I said retired. See, the, uh, Everton want Jack Grealish on loan, do they? Mm. That's... They, they're they going to pay his wage as well. Why have we rejected it? What? Oh, yeah. oh that's annoying. I was going to accept that. Oh, Tottenham's pitch is bedding in. Well, that's that's lovely, isn't it? Lovely bedding in of a pitch. Why is this not? Why do I need to know this? This is the groundsman's job, not mine. Right, join me in a few moments where we will be preparing to take on our arch nemesis, our huge rivals, Arsenal, in the Community Shield. I'm trying to build it up to be something. It's sponsored by McDonald's. Goodness sake, this is supposed to be quick and succinct and you're managing to trip over words like bloody McDonald's. I have no pun for that. I'll see you in a few seconds. We're going back to basics for this season. Starting afresh, we've got a lot of new faces. Uh, we don't. We've got two new faces. Last season, we were very unsettled with the tactics we used. Yes, yes, that's how I tend to be. But it's something I need to try and break the cycle of. So we're going for 4 2 three, one for now. And then we'll see how it goes and move on from there. But no team instructions. All vanilla stuff, very basic. Let's see what happens, shall we? Against arch rivals. Apparently, they're the home team, despite us being the home team and the whole news press conferencey thing being about us being the home team. But why the bloody hell not? Change the narrative all you like. Yeah, yeah, it's me that should be changing the narrative. Not no, actually, no one should be changing any narrative, should they? Too soon? Probably too soon. Here are the lineups then. Ben Foster has yet to be replaced. Joe Hart uh, is still proving to be elusive, unfortunately. The back four from left to right is Danny Rose, Lascelles, Keane, and Walker. Yes, we've not signed any new defenders yet. What am I playing at? I know. Dyer and Hughes in midfield with Grealish, Deli Alley, and Berahino across that attacking midfield three and. Benicophobi up top on his own because Harry Kane is still injured from one of the friendlies against Dirty Leeds. So they are exacting their revenge for their FA Cup loss against us. So it is FA Cup winners against Premier League winners. We didn't win the Premier League. If this is the first episode you're seeing a homegrown hopster, hopspur, I've done it again. Oh, why did I not remember? about that being painful last time. This is the first chance for Martin Hunter. Got to be very careful with that surname. Very careful. Uh, to, to exact his revenge, or at least try and see what he can do in this sort of match situation. What advice can he offer me? Lots of never... Oh, okay, that's the first time I've seen someone use a never. Let's Let's see if it actually works. Team talk, this is down to me. 
we have to. We yeah, we bloody do. There we go. See, not touching anything else. Let's see what happens. Right. Morale is okay for the start of a season. Let's see if we can get off to it with a bang and some minor silverware. Yeah? Maybe use it as a gong because it's a bang on the... Let's get started. Seems to be picking up a lot of yellow cards so far. Danny Rose playing the ball into Hughes. Who's, he's played it all the way back and we start again pinging the ball forward pointlessly. Hughes loses out to Wilshire, who's back in an Arsenal shirt, but fortunately Keane is at the back clearing things up. Deli Ali takes the touch away from the defender. Can he spring Berahino? He can. He just needs to play into a phobie. A phobie. Oh. It begins again. So first chance comes our way. Spurned. Spurned. Ah. <laughs> See, you know why, right? Good. Ozil with a... And... Oh, oh, mm. This is why we should take our chances when we get them. Ozil pings in the free kick. Koscielny gets higher than anyone else. And oh, that's a lovely looping header. I hate to admit it. He's gone off running to the corner celebrating like... Well, nobody's business, I'm assuming. Seen the number of yellow cards we've collected. That's five and a half. Christ. Right, I'm taking off all of the, the instructions because I think the hard tackling is the thing that's getting us these yellow cards obscenely quickly. We've got some motivated players now. I've adjusted the mentality to control for better, for worse, really. We don't really have enough options off the bench. We've got too many yellow cards for starters, and not really enough players to cover those yellow cards. Jack Grealish is having an absolute shocker. Oh, dear me. Let's make him inside forward. He likes that, apparently. Deli Alley, we're going to drop you down a bit. Afobi, I feel like he struggles in that complete forward role, giving him too many options. Maybe go even more generic than we had been playing before. and Maybe even getting a bit of overlap from Danny Rose right we've made changes and I hate I've made probably too many changes silly billy boy but we'll uh, see if we can get back into this with a mentality change and a few minor adjustments uh, let's go Berahino fails to beat Gibbs Alexis charging at our goal and he's absolutely smashed one in that's a displeasing noise by the way Oh, this is a lovely camera angle. You can just see he absolutely ruins. I think it's Walker at right back. And, oh, that's just disgusting. So, the changes after half-time visibly have not worked. Maybe moving to counter and just absorbing. Oh, well, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Walker pings a free kick in. A phobie. Can't get there. Listeners! We've got one back. Oh, maybe there is fight in the old dog yet. Hopefully that was after we made the change. You see, Walker pings in the free kick. A phobie gets up first, nods it into Lascelles. Gabriel does absolutely diddly squat. And uh, it's an easy tap in at the end of the day. Play the ball easily back to check. And, well, we've done absolutely nothing. We've had two clear-cut chances. And just, I presume one of those was Lascelles uh, easy tap in with no goalie in the way. Goalie. Who says that nowadays? Goalie. Jesus. Alexis is absolutely tearing the piss out of our defence. Fortunately, Foster's there for once. Play what? Why? He's finally decided he's going to listen now. I don't know if you remember last season, but he struggled to do anything of any use, particularly when the ball was in his hands and he'd just punt it forwards. Useless. Dragomir, what a name that is. Oh, can we sign you? Uh, he's not going to be English, is he? Maybe Gr Dragon Man would be lovely. Mertesacker easily beaten, but uh, Phoebe can't hold on to it. Fortunately, Walker is there. Phoebe sets Berahino on his way. He's got a lot to do. He's got a lot to... Oh! <laughs> yes! In off the post, you dirty little bitch. Yes. Oh, I love that. A phobia with a ping over the top. Berahino runs onto it. Look at the players chasing after him. And oh, just enough the post. That is a thing of beauty. Let's hope he continues that. We've leveled it up. I've just realised this is going to go to extra time and penalties. Wasn't prepared for that. Oh, straight to penalties, in fact. I'm, I'm fine with that. 
Can we maybe nick this? We can't bring on Barry. We can't bring on Harry Kane. I should have thought about that. Cock. I thought it was extra time then penalties, didn't I? <laughs> right, penalty shoot out. See if we can nick this from Arsenal. Let's go. Oh, this terrifies me. Hang on, hang on a minute. Let's sort this camera angle out. That's the one. That's the sexual chocolate. Let's roll the dice. We'll share up first for Arsenal. And that is how you do not take a penalty. Very that that is equally how you don't take a penalty. Shit. Joel Campbell, he steps up. No, he dispatches. Next penalty. Oh, that yo-yo ball. Will Hughes. Oh, that's beautiful. Drag him here right at Ben Foster. That's the second one missed for Arsenal. Can Deli Alley put it away? Oh my god. Good Lord, he's hit the... <sighs> that was a bar. Alex Avobi, and he's... <sighs> Benek Avobi. And he... Oh, that's easy. Too easy. Check's gone the wrong way. Xhaka Khan. Uh, Foster can't save the penalty. Michael Keane, oh dear. He put it away, though. Didn't expect a centre-half to be taken. It should have really paid more attention to adjusting those. Kieran Gibbs now for Arsenal. And yes! Foster, right. We, if we if we do this, if we do it... Danny Rose. Come on. No, oh my God. What is with this? What? Koscielny. <laughs> Foster with the one-arm save. Right, who is this? Eric Dyer. Mr. Dependable. Don't... Yeah! We've stolen it from them. Come on. May have taken penalties. But we have our first bit of silverware for the season. Magical stuff. Right. There we go. We've come back and won. Like a foreskin. It's allowed. We've won a title. Okay. Questionable title. But we've won something. Yeah, very happy. There we go. They're all happy. This is a great morale boost. Ready for the season to start. Tremendous stuff. Yes. Oh. Well, they praise me for uh, an arbitrary trophy. Who cares? We've won something. Right then, if you've enjoyed this episode of Homegrown Hotspur to start off Season 2, pop a like on there for me, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and for those of you that are partaking in Way In Wednesday, don't forget, Way In Tomorrow, let me know on tomorrow's video. That is rhyming. You thought you weren't going to get away from it, and you haven't, because here it is. The rhyme is here on time. That's two in, like, 30 seconds. Beautiful stuff. Anyway, that's enough from me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.